What's going on people? It's Sonny Green, the spiritual Englishman on this cold, wet January. I hope you are well. So today's video is about asking ourselves a serious question. Are you a producer or are you a consumer? And what do these terms even mean? Yeah. No matter what, no matter what. Also, also, this question. What are you consuming and what are you producing? Serious. What's going on? Like, no matter what, no matter what we're doing, we're always one or two. We're either producing or we're consuming. There's very few things where you can do both. Very few. Unless you're watching or taking in something that's producing thoughts while you're consuming it. It's kind of positive, because that happens anyway, right? But, so like on a day-to-day, -day, what, what, what are you producing, okay? So, for instance, so today I drove to Wembley, I helped out an independent business in South End deliver some stock that they manufactured. Um, and I dropped it off to Wembley from South End. I was producing a service, yeah? On the way there, I consumed some YouTube videos. I consumed some music. I consumed um, a video about learning how to trade stocks and shares. I, um, yeah, that was it, basically. And, <laughs> and that's what was going on. What did I used to consume? rubbish if I'm really honest I used to consume a lot of stuff that wasn't no good for me um, I never understood the term you are what you eat yeah I never really got that I always thought what do you mean like and a chicken like lions eat chickens why am, I can't I can't be a chicken can I how can I be if I'm eating that like lions eat that like, okay all right well I'll start eating really clean and I'll be a vegetarian or a vegan but are you a vegetable? No. <laughs> like, if you eat loads of vegetables, does that make you a vegetable? Like, <laughs> do you know what I'm trying to say here? So, let me let me get to the point. You are what you eat, for me now, resonates more with you are what you're consuming. You are what you consume. If you sit there watching drill songs, like, all the time, there's a good chance you're going to be fascinated by drill culture. You, you might make drill music. You might you might be a driller. You might start getting yourself involved in street crime and violence, da, 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 da. Because all you're listening to is drill music. And in drill music, you're going to hear all the stories about what's going on in this area, who that person's got beef with. Obviously, the whole point of drill is, is that it's drill, uh, you know, and you're drilling. And if you're not, then... It's not really drill. Do you know what I mean? But that's a whole different video. But anyway, so what are you consuming and what's good to consume? Like, So for me, I know when I'm in a good positive state, the stuff I'm consuming is, is one, not that much actually. And it's going to uplift me. It's going to teach me something. I'm going to learn from it. So, or at the very least, I might have like half hour, maybe a couple hours, a half hour to a couple hours max downtime of an evening or throughout my day where I might consume some rubbish on YouTube. And it might be Arsenal Fan TV, it might be IFL TV, it might be um, like, you know, James English podcasts and stuff like that. And it's not rubbish, it's just stuff that, it's not really benefiting my life, but I sit there, it's like my downtime, I take it in, I watch it, I'm like, okay, cool, that's some, that, like, I'll learn stuff about um, maybe what's going on in the transfer window, do you know, stuff that's not really going to benefit like me or my family's lives, but I find it entertaining, it makes me happy, it might bring me a little bit of happiness and joy to watch some interesting videos about like, you know, um, like British crime or what's going on in sport or football, you know, and that's part of being a spiritual Englishman as well, by the way, so... Yeah, that's that's the long way. I just bibbed the van. That's the long and the short of it. Um, 
mainly what I like to consume is stuff like audiobooks and just motivation. Every morning I listen to motivation just to get me going and try to pick me up because I'm not going to lie, I wake up most mornings and I don't feel like it. I'm just not feeling it. So I whack motivation on, it slaps me around the face. Les Brown or, you know, uh, David Goggins, all, th all these people, I don't always remember their names, Earl Nightingale, whatever, that, you know, motivational speakers, um, Jock, and they just get me going, they're like, come on, you can do this, you can do this, and it helps me, and I love it, that's what, it, it, it honestly keeps me going, so I consume that in the morning, then I go about my day with whatever I've got to do, my, that's on my to-do list, on my work, and um, I'll have breakfast, mainly when I drop my son off, and then I will, I will, like just get get working and whilst throughout the day i may listen to music i'll be consuming music to keep me going to vibes and then still maybe audio books things like that um and then like i said a bit of downtime and that's what helps me if you're consuming rubbish all the time or just stuff the way you're not producing right so here's another key here's another key for you guys and apart why i'm doing this why why i'm doing this youtube video is because i want to produce more I want to produce more. So I know I've got a lot to speak about and I've got a lot to give and offer people if they want to listen, yeah? And I also want to document my journey so maybe I could pass away tomorrow and my son has got all this that he can watch and maybe my loved ones and people can go back on YouTube and they can watch everything. You see it? So that now they know how I was and my mood changes, I'm a bit up and down, okay, don't get me wrong, but at least they can get a good, if I do it every day, they can get a good clear picture of the sort of person I was throughout um, my life, and especially 2021. So, and I'm producing content, I'm producing content for people to watch, and if people like it, da da da, eventually my subscribers could go up, like and subscribe, da da da, and you can start getting a little revenue in from just producing just producing content that people just people being interested in stuff it's like it's almost a no-brainer for me i'm in the music industry i'm in the arts industry check out my other videos you can see that I've, I've always produced music and art and at this time we can't do no shows or nothing like that so you're not realistically you i mean there are gray areas but you, you might not even be able to actually go to a studio and record right now according to the guidelines and stuff and for your safety you know so what, what do you do? Whack out an iPhone and just start making videos, brother. Like, for me, that's what I thought. And it's it's helping, it's working, it's, it's, it's creative in a way, and it's just more content that people can listen to. And yeah, that was my way of producing a little bit more, along with still writing songs, writing poems, all that sort of stuff. And business, like if you've got a business, or even if you've got a job, you're producing something, you're producing a service. You're doing something. You're being productive. And for me, yeah, I can only speak for myself. But if I haven't done anything productive in that day, I'm depressed, mate. I am, like, not happy at all. And then if you fall down that rabbit hole, you won't produce nothing for ages, for weeks, for months, for years. And you'll just be in a deep rest, depressed, deep rest. Because you ain't producing nothing. And then you can't tell me, what, how can you seriously be really happy if you're not producing anything? What if you just reached eternal peace and you've got an amazing relationship with God and you're just being so, even, even those people do so much. Like, even the most holy people I know still produce so much. They're still going out, they're still giving, they're giving, giving, giving and helping people. People are talking to them and they're giving them like spiritual wisdom and stuff. And like, you know, you can still be productive like that. There's many ways. But the key for this video is to underline what you're producing and what you're consuming and how, how can you produce more and consume less rubbish. Because that's, that's how you're going to have a better life. Fundamentally, that's how you're going to be happier. That's how your family are going to be happier. That's how your community are going to grow and be stronger. I know a lot of my friends, not a lot of my friends, let's not, let's not generalise yet, but some of my friends who I grew up with consume a lot of rubbish that's never ever gonna benefit them.
it's never really it's just they're always on that consuming thing consume 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 never produce nothing much or very little and what are they doing jeju you're, you're, you're a consumer brother like you're you're consuming mate and that's why you're not feeling positive about life about yourself about your family about your community about your area because you're never producing nothing if we all produced if we all produce good stuff yeah it says you you i don't know the exact scripture right but it says it, it says it in the bible right you you will um i should have googled this stuff and then i could have read it or it literally just says you the fruit shows like you you bear the the, the 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 tree that bears the fruit basically yeah so if you're like a bad tree or a bad egg or whatever you're you're you're, you're gonna produce bad things yeah if you're doing good things you're gonna produce good stuff and it's the similar sort of thing and you reap what you sow yeah so what are you sowing what seeds are you sowing and what fruit what fruit are you what fruit have you got to show for them seeds a lot of people ain't planting those seeds they're not trying to produce anything they're not trying to grow and here on this channel that's what we are trying to do together is produce produce and grow and be productive man like i want you to win i really really want you to be productive i really want you to win you can do it and it's not just for you. it's not it's not for you it's not for me but it's for the future as well it's for all of us everyone wins that's what i try and do in business and in life everyone's got a win around me everyone's got to win if we ever do business together or whatever's happening we got to win and that's why if you comment on this video i'll comment back like why not hello yeah cool i'm gonna interact right at least with me you can you're consuming something and i can i'll interact that's why i like yammy b's channel because he he comments on every single person who who he speaks to and it's a beautiful thing like it's beautiful obviously that can take up a lot of time eventually but at the same time it's nice to have that like why watch tv like some rubbish soaps or something like fair enough if that's like your hour of downtime cool like fair enough but if that all you're doing is watching consuming a tv show that you can't have no real interaction with that you're never ever gonna like what's the point when you got youtube and you can actually communicate with real people like like i was watching a channel called living in london and i i reached out to him on instagram i've done a little voice note to him yesterday and i had a, a long conversation with him and I was watching his content on YouTube that come up through like related searches because he'd done a video about James English and, and Marvin and Darren G and all that. I watched that video and I was like, oh, this guy's cool. He's got a vibe like he's different. Yeah, I like him. So I voice noted him on Insta like, what's going on, brother? Da, 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 da. Like, invited him to Trouble Tongues when that starts going and all that. And then we, we made the link and it was amazing. Do you know what I mean? It was real. Like you can't do that with, with watching any old... If I was watching some rubbish tv show i wouldn't have been able to like connect with someone network make make a new friend or whatever it may be whatever that is you know just connect with someone it's like ah, oh. it all helps man it all helps physically mentally spiritually it's all good anyway this is the mood i'm in today i'm in a i'm in a good place today thank god and I'm producing something for you guys and I will do every day this year I'll produce that I was at the chess video yesterday as well check that out big up the how to stop smoking people are loving that and it's helping a lot of people I've got a lot of messages about that and a lot of deep stuff has come off of the back of that and like I'm glad it's helping so yeah big up check out the other videos and all that and I'll see you tomorrow but big up the chess video I love that do you know why because people think oh look he's playing chess and my voice sounded is interesting and I just voice noted it and it was like they don't realise, even though I am what I am and I've been through this journey, people can still perceive me however we want to be perceived at that time. And sometimes I like to just be that chess guy. Hi. <laughs> Checkmate. Sunny Green UK on the chess app as well and on most of my socials. I'm going to love you and leave you. See you tomorrow. Cool.